Okay, this is going to be a video demonstration of some new features in the Big Blue front end, and also just in general, I want to talk about multi monitor support and some of the issues and different things that you can do. Okay, so I'm going to start off just by you know running the front end normally. So you get a standard image here on a single screen, you know, it's all pretty much normal. But let's say you want to do something like show a marquee or flyer image on a secondary monitor that you have. So in the configuration utility, I've broken up the options into multiple sections just because there were so many options. Now there's game list options, display options, multi-monitor options, control options, and sound options. If we go into multi-monitor options, you'll see that you can choose a marquee, flyer, instruction, um, and surround uh, monitor. So right now, with the way Big Blue's set up, um, you can have uh, you know up to five monitors, uh, you know, getting video just from the front end you know, which is pretty crazy. So I'm going to select the secondary monitor display two as a marquee monitor. And now when I do this, you'll notice that we have a Street Fighter two image on the secondary screen on the left. But I've set up some of the games. Oh yeah, here's an example two. See this one? I just picked uh, you know, some random screenshot to be the marquee image for favorites. But uh, you can get a better idea of this if we go into, let's say, Mortal Kombat 2. Uh, see, I put the uh, thing right there. So, um, and, the, and the thing that's really awesome about this is that, you know, you don't have to install any separate software like you have to do with some other front ends, you know, where you have to install like MAME uh, Hooker or, or whatever the name of that program is. With this, it just works. Um, you, you click a button and you're done. Uh, I think I have like a decent image somewhere. Oh yeah, here we go. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, but basically the point is you can do whatever you want. And, and, and it's nice too because you don't have to rely on the emulator having an artwork system like MAME. So, for example, like emulators that don't have an artwork system such as uh, the Model 2 emulator, for example, has no artwork system. You could still get your dynamic marquee, have a Virtua Fighter 2 marquee image showing on your secondary monitor while you're playing the game on your primary monitor. And you can see how seamless this stuff is. You know, you just start it and boom, you know, your image it stays on the secondary monitor and your game is on the main monitor. Um, you know, go, go, good job. So, so, and also, I just want to point out that this is running um, ASIO uh, MAME, and um, unlike other emulators, or rather, unlike other front ends such as you know Hyperspin and well, actually, pretty much most of the other front ends, uh, Big Blue actually supports the ASIO version of MAME. You'll notice that after I exit out of the emulator, I still have audio, no problem, because I forced it to work. I told it that it was going to work or else. Okay, so that's fine, whatever. Um, I also put in, oh yeah, so this is a nice little thing that you can see uh, on a secondary monitor when you shut down the uh, front end. We got damned here. Yeah, so actually, so if you have like four other secondary monitors hooked up, um, you can see that on the other screens as well. So, so the, the damned uh, laughing, flickering face will show up in all the monitors. Okay, so but let's try a different configuration here. So right now I have uh, I, I'm telling Big Blue to 
show marquee images in a secondary monitor. Okay, well that's fine, but what if I don't want to do marquee images? What if I just want to stretch out the uh, display onto uh, something else? So here, for example, I'm going to say I have a screen to the left and it's going to be display 2. So if I do that, see how I get the game list displaying on the left screen and then kind of, um, you know, the mini game displaying on the right screen with the images. Um, you know, and, and basically the game list automatically resizes so everything is correct. That's all well and good. Um, and this is a great setup for multi-screen games such as, you know, Darius or uh, uh, Warrior Blade or, or X-Men 6P and, and so on. Um, okay, so you can do that. Okay, but so there's some other crazy stuff you can do too. So we're showing horizontal surround sound displays, but uh, surround sound displays, surround displays. But what if I want to do vertical stacked displays? So I'm going to say, okay, let's put the second monitor on top of the first monitor. And now, in the big blue configuration, we're going to tell this thing that this surround monitor configuration is up instead of left because, because it's going, um, you know, the second monitor is on top. So when we do this now, see how we have it stacked where, uh, you know, we're seeing the, um, you know, top of the, of, of the display here on, on the, on the, on the uh, top monitor and the bottom of the display on the bottom monitor. So basically, if you have some crazy cabinet setup like, like, the, like the arcade punch out that has two monitors that are stacked vertically instead of side by side, you have a front end now that can handle this. Um, it, it knows to put the game list on the, uh, the, the top screen and the mini game shows on the left. Um, so, essentially, if there's an arcade setup, Big Blue does it now. Um, oh, he's going down. Yeah, uh, so basically, you can, you know, do all that stuff now, too. Alright, that's fine, remember. Okay, so, I I'm gonna get rid of the uh, surround displays here. Get rid of this garbage. Um, I, I put in a bunch of other features. You, you'll notice that we now have the ability to choose the time of day. Previously, uh, Big Blue's time of day was dynamic, so depending on the time of your computer's clock, you would see a different theme there. But now you can select it. So right now, even if it's you know 10:22 and it's going to normally show the night theme, I can select another theme and just force it to always be that. And so along with that. I added the final uh, Street Fighter 2 background that was, you know, appropriate. And this is the Dawn uh, background from Super Street Fighter 2. And so now there's a new theme using that. So now we kind of have the glow of the moonlight, uh, you know, it was, it was late night and early uh, dawn approaches. Um, so. This is, uh, normally if you have dynamic, uh, you know, time of day showing, you'll see this variant of the theme from 4 a.m. to uh, 6 a.m. But here I'm just forcing it to, you know, to show right now. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so that feature's in there. So basically, pretty much any configuration that you can think of, this thing handles it. It's... It's pretty complete. I'm pretty happy with it. It was a lot of work. Um, so you know, so what can I really say here other than don't like, don't subscribe, get out of my life. <laughs>